I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The vision of Doral Academy Charter Middle High School is to set the standard for outstanding student achievement while providing a safe and nurturing academic environment. Good morning, Fabrics. My name is Aquiles Barreto. And I'm Alejandra Garcia. I'm coming up on Fabrics TV. We will be exploring one of Doral Academy's most interesting programs. Alyssa Diarmas will catch you up in your weekly sports. We'll take a look at our weather for this weekend with Melanie Moron. We'll update you on this week's developing news. And lastly, our school announcements. Today is November 2nd, 2018. And February TV starts now. now. So cheesy. <laughs> and here's a look at Draw Academy's MICE Research Program. So MICE Research is a program where we experiment with an antioxidant called Buckminster Fullerene, also known as C60, and our goal is to expand the lifespan of a mouse, which they usually live around two years in the wild, and here in the lab we're trying to expand it to three or four or five years. Inside Mr. Chesapeake's science classroom lies the Draw College MICE Research Lab which to many Dural Academy students has become home. I've formed a second family in this program for sure. Every day I look forward to going to school, not just to continue on with my academics, but to see them because we have all come so united together. Like you form a second family in this program as you, we all work together for a common goal. There's a lot of us in this class, you really do create a family, but that means that you need to be able to work as a team. You can't just be very self-centered, all about you, all about your mice, because your mice and you, you're part of this greater study that we're trying to do here. So you can't just be very self-centric. You have to be able to work in a team, in a group, and actually form bonds with the people that you're working with. This program, which started in 2011, is led by biology and genetics instructor, Ms. Chesabal. It's not possible to describe Mr. Chesabo in one word. Like, she's loving and compassionate on the inside, but on the outside, she's the toughest person I know because I know she always wants, to, wants us to do our best. This program is currently looking for Dural Academy applicants interested in mice research. We need a lot of people to be able to run this program. So we are looking for 8th, 9th, and 10th graders currently who have a 3.5 GPA. We want you to be interested in science, right? Because obviously this is a science research. So we want you to care about the subject and want to learn more because we do learn a lot in here. You can't be afraid of touching these mice because obviously you're gonna be working with them a lot. So if you're afraid and like you touch them, you're like, ah, there's mice. You can't, you can't do that. You have to actually like, and you have to be able to form a bond with them because you're gonna have them until they die, essentially. So you're gonna have these mice for one to two, maybe even three years. So you really need the ability to form a bond with them because if they like you, your life will be so much easier in this program. So if you are interested in joining, you can go to Achezabal's room 216C and pick up an application. And yeah, we hope to see all of you guys applying. Signing off for Firebird TV, I'm Lauren Bonet reporting. While our fall season is coming to an end, our winter sports are getting ready for a great year. That's right, especially with our boys soccer team first home game next Tuesday here against us out. And to catch you up with your sports updates, here's Alyssa De Armas. Good morning Firebirds, my name is Alyssa De Armas with your weekly sports report. This week in volleyball, unfortunately, our girls lost against St. Brandon in their regional semis with a score of three sets to two. However, we congratulate them on a great season. Our cross-country team will be competing in regionals this weekend in Stewart, Florida. Good luck! Our swim team will also be competing in regionals at FGCU. Good luck to you too! And finally, our girls' golf team will be competing in states in Orlando next week. Good luck! 
That's all for this week's Sports Firebirds. My name is Alyssa Dayarma, signing off from Firebird TV. Now back to your anchors. November's coming in with a little bit of rain. And now here's Manny Moron with this weekend's weather forecast. Good morning, Firebirds. My name is Manny Moron, here with your weekend's weather forecast. On Friday, there will be a high of 84 and a low of 74 with a 50% chance of rain. On Saturday, there will be a high of 84 and a low of 77 with a 60% chance of rain. And lastly, on Sunday, there will be a high of 83 and a low of 77 with a 60% chance of rain. That's it for your weekend's weather forecast. Signing off from Fiber TV, I'm Melanie Moron, and now back to your anchors. This November 6th, Florida will be holding elections for state governor. Here's some developing news on the topic. It's the last day to pay for the $28 dollar trophy for Key Club in room 224A. Epi Lee will have a mandatory meeting in room 112B at 240. Also, our girls basketball team will be having tryouts in the gym at 530. Seniors, remember to vote for your class superlatives in the school website. Signing off for Fire TV, I'm Aguilas Barreto. And I'm Alejandra Garcia. Hope you have a wonderful week. I have one. That's fine. Hey, Jane. No, no, I have a wonderful week. Hey, Jane. That's fine, seriously.